Video game donkey is review of Pokemon Legends last year or her case. I don't know what, what the pronunciation is. But I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. I cannot <laughs> no no no. I cannot believe this. This is um this is can't believe this. This is can't believe this stuff. You guys. I cannot believe this. That Five. Yeah. And it's been 15 seconds and he's forgotten how to speak yeah, English I, with this, us. I don't believe. This is that stuff that I don't believe. <laughs> and you need to extend an essay to a word limit. This is what I do not believe. Believe this is not what I do not do. You guys, Game Freak made a fun Pokemon. Even more. That is one video game. Pokemon Arcade yeah. is the reinvention this franchise has needed for over a decade. When fans dreamed of playing a Pokemon RPG mm -hmm. on home consoles back in the GameCube era, this is probably what they had in mind. But it doesn't open with a bang. Instead, you have to slog through a very talky, very tedious tutorial which goes on for <laughs> way too long and teaches you nothing until eventually the game sets you free. Okay, now the graphics have gotten better since I played this. Unsurprising to be fair, because as he mentioned, the only things that can really change are the graphics. Environments battling and capturing Pokemon. This is where Pokemon really shines. Capturing Pokemon in real time is a genius level move. It's very immediate, visceral. It's kind of like a third person shooter where you snipe Pokemon from across the realm with Pokeballs. The traditional turn based battles are much faster than usual. Have it? There's no victory I mean, screen, kind of. and most battles are decided in one move. Either you kill them in one hit, or they kill you in one hit. You could probably plow through 20 fights in the time it would take you to chip down a Metapod and Pokemon Red and keep oh, casting a on itself like an asshole. Pokemon level up quick, gaining shared XP for real time captures and battles, but I never felt okay. comically overpowered like Pokemon Sword, where my Grookey became an untouchable god one hour into the game. In Arceus, enemies that are 10 levels below you can still deal serious damage. Now, think hmm. back to my Let's Go Pikachu review. What did I say? Well, so I said that that game was terrible because it didn't have a dodge roll. This game has a dodge roll because it's Dark Souls and oh, yeah. Zelda. Traversal is simplistic, but there's a little strand type climbing in there to give it some flavor. You can get a horse, you get a climbing guy, and a flying guy. If you take the gameplay elements and evaluate them in a vacuum, they're not mind blowing. It's the way they cycle through them, though, so rapidly that makes this game feel alive in a way that the older titles do not. Graphically, there are games. In comparison to other games, it's probably not that revolutionary, but compared to. Uh, the Pokemon game is incredible. The on the GameCube, but the true weakness here is the story. For a game with no story to tell, this game has a lot of dialogue boxes. The story here okay. is one of the most soulless, uninspired stories I have ever seen in a video game. This is disgraceful. This is embarrassing, and it gives me a whole new perspective and appreciation for something like Final Fantasy VII Remake or even fucking Xenoblade. Ah. Uh, even with something like Kingdom Hearts 3, that? at least I can make a funny video out of that, you know? Trying to make fun of Pokemon stories like trying to make fun of a rock. There's just nothing to work with. At least put in some funny voice acting or something. Come on. Game Freak's second game is like a collaboration between two rappers, where Kendrick wrote the code for the gameplay and Jake Paul wrote the story. Fucking hell. Well, 
That was a mostly positive review. Other than <laughs> the main story. But yeah, other than that, pretty good video.